Hi, and welcome to Hub City Presents. I'm Chris Leonard, your host, and today we're going to talk about the 2020 Employment and Resource Fair, and we have with us Chris Kuhn from the Heart of Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce. Hello. And Karen Isaacson from the Mackey Marshall Area Chamber. There you go. Hello. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for um, having us. No problem. Um, we, let's talk about what prompted the resource fair. Um, we are involved with uh, a committee um, since Virgo, Virgo announced that they'd be idling. Um, so they've been meeting once a week and now it's every other week. And Karen's involved with it, Missy, er, Angel's involved with it. There's a whole bunch of Scott crew, different t um, Patrick Tustin. So they came about with wanting to have this resources. And so we were asked about doing a job fair. Um, in the 15 years I've been at the chamber, we have not did one because um, other people have always did them. Mm -hmm. And I said, we could do that. So we've been looking into it. Um, Angel reached out to Karen mm -hmm. and got a lot of information from the Figgies. From um, the Figgies and Shopco yeah. um, and the event. Edit. And that was really kind of a jump start to um, starting conversations to getting this thing kind of moving in, in a forward basis. And uh, Lots so. of great information. So <laughs> easy you. for me to uh, work with. So, mm -hmm. so Verso is a rapids based company. So why did a Marshall Chamber get involved? With us? Uh, because we're, we're all a part of Wood County. Um, you know, this is, affects the whole county. Um, we, we have businesses that uh, do work together and, um, and we have jobs available here that uh, we're in a close proximity so that we can you know, hopefully keep uh, the taxes in the, the tax base in this area and help these employees that are have some tough times right now. Um, that was one thing too, is we wanna keep the people in our community, in our area. Um, we love our community and wanna see people still be able to stay here um, and with the school districts. So, and we also did have um, some layoffs from another company to about a hundred um, at that time. So we wanted to make sure, so there's well over a thousand people that are laid off and looking from what I understood, there was about 150 that would be at retirement age. So we're still looking at at least 900 that are gonna be looking for jobs. So Karen's been gracious to work with us. Um, I have a small committee together that we're working on getting everything um, situated. We've gotten water donated, Pepsi's donated, soda. Um, we're gonna have food trucks out there. So we're trying to make it so we don't have to have a lot of hand on touch items. Mm -hmm. So um, when our vendors come in, they'll get two tickets for lunch. When they wanna eat, they can go out and get their lunch, different things like that. Nice. So I'm looking forward to it. So can you talk about some of the resources and information yeah. that'll be available? So we're gonna have a health fair, uh, insurance um, and wellness fair, and then we'll have the job fair, and then we'll also have a resource fair. So the resources will be like United Way, um, encourage different things like that to have um, different ways that they might be able to help. Career closet, um, just how do you dress for interview? We will be having breakout sessions too, and this will all be at um, East, the old East Junior High in Wisconsin Rapids off Lincoln Street. You'll come in off a of 6th Street. And so in the big um, field house will be the job fair and the resource fair. In the cafeteria, we'll have the um, financial health and wellness. And then we'll have some rooms that are available for interviewing right away if some businesses want to, and some areas where they can get help with like doing their resume and stuff. We're gonna have breakout sessions on resumes, how to dress, mm -hmm. um, interviews, interviewing. Mm -hmm. And then we do have a series of five um, Wednesdays that we're having, we're working with Midstate. And from seven to eight on Wednesday mornings, it's a mini series of um, social media presence, you know, how to look for jobs, mm -hmm. different things like that, that lead up to it too. So for some of these Verso employees, who they come from Stevens Point, Rapids, Marshville, Nakusa. Within the hour drive is what I've gotten from mm -hmm. okay. Verso. And some of these people will have to totally change what they're doing, or a lot of these people right. will have to totally change. And you probably saw that with Figgies too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And part of the um, Department of Workforce Development, um, they do offer some reskill training and that for these employees, so um, which uh, is a great benefit for them to take advantage of at this time too. So, and we, our local colleges are working with uh, with all of us too to uh, provide that training for them. We too. have Midstate, UWSP, and Lakeland University will all be at the fair too. So there are people that are interested that I've talked to already that would like to go on to school, so they'll get some help that way too. My husband was a dislocated worker 10 years ago and went through the program and went to school and he had never went to college. So there's some that have been at the mill for 35 years that they still got 10 more years before they can retire. So, you know, what what are their um, job skills? What 
what would they like to advance in to further their career too. So on our form, we have, um, have them put like what areas they're interested in, what, you know, and then we're pre-registering if we can, just to help us with the COVID also. So make sure if anyone, you know, we would have any cases that would come through, hopefully not, but um, to cover and make sure safety wise. So businesses that are interested in being part of the fair, what, what would they be expected to do and how do they get in contact with? Um, they can reach out to Karen or myself. Mm -hmm. um, my email is vp at wisconsinrampuschamber.com and it is on our website at wisconsinrampuschamber.com. Um, there's a form they fill out. It's a $50 fee that covers lunches for both days for two workers. Um, we're hoping to just keep it to two workers just because um, they'll get a six foot table and then they'll be three feet on each side. So it'll be six feet in between two. So it'll be able to spread out um, in there because it's a big area. And then we also have a form that each vendor that works at the table fills out. So we have their information. And then we ask them, um, recommend that they wear masks. Um, we recommend um, having hand sanitizer at their tables. We'll have it in all our areas too, um, and having different wash stations too. So being at the job fair, there'll be multiple businesses. So what, what do they do to attract people to their table at the resource fair? That's okay. So anybody who's interested will have a registration table that will be taking um, information in. Um, they will see who's going to be available uh, through some resources that we'll be providing in a packet of information. In addition to that, we'll have some of this, uh, the companies that will be out there on our website to share with people that they know who's going to be there. Both of us have job boards. Um, so we're encouraging businesses to put their jobs on our job board. Boards, um, as references and you know whether it's part-time full-time casual yeah, yeah temporary yeah internships as well have like fall that. harvest um, people will be looking you know and mm -hmm. I know um everybody's asked why we're waiting till the beginning of September we're well, trying to throw it together we didn't want to make sure it was put together well and Friday is their last day so tomorrow would be July 31st mm -hmm. um, would be and so we wanted to give them some time. I've talked to a lot of people, they want to take a few weeks to spend time with their families before they go back to school and just wrap their head around what they want to do too. They don't want to rush themselves into anything either, which I completely understood. Like when my husband was dislocated, you try to figure out what you want to do. Um, and he's happy where he ended up. We want to make sure everybody's happy where they end up. How do you both feel the job markets are in your communities? We have a lot of job openings, so I think they're good. We've noticed since um, probably in the last month here that more have opened up. And now um, with the announcement of Verso, um, our job board has sees new jobs being added on a regular basis. Um, so we continue to push this out to not only uh, through our website, but also social media and that too. So it's it's really good. They're, we're trying to get as much information out yeah. there, but locally here, and you probably see it too, Chris, as you drive down the street, you're seeing hiring now signs up. I think one of the Nasita businesses, it's a manufacturing business, has like 20 openings that they had sent me. So, I mean, right there, looking at um, how many that they had, and I had not heard of them. Um, but it, it's interesting to see who's coming in for it um, in some of our other areas, too. I know that some of the other uh, manufacturers in that area are hiring temp right now. Um, they're just, I think, waiting for their um, bulk to build up again or their business to build back up. But um, I think they'll be hiring in the future here, too, from the sounds of it. And college kids will be heading back to school. Yep. We found out, so yeah, they start in a few weeks here. Um, <laughs> at least the like the tech schools do, and then um, right after, right around the time of the job fair, that was another thing too. Was I wanted to make sure the kids were back in school if they were going to be back in school um, to help parents because of daycare issues to be able to come to the fair too, because we would prefer not to have uh, children at the fair just to keep the count down because we will have to keep a count. Um, the county will give us a number, and we'll have to keep somebody in the gym and that area, and people might have to wait outside for a little bit. Speaking of that, what other safety precautions will be in place? Um, it will just be the hand sanitizing, the mask, um, six, you know, um, promoting the six feet distancing, um, just the normal basic everyday precautions now. Okay. So could you walk through the whole process of somebody attending the job fair looking for a job, how that works? Yep. They will come. We're going to have a pre-registration. So we have a form that they can pre-register. So we'll have a table that if they already registered, we have all their information, they can just check in and we'll let them in. Um, they'll go through the resource area, through the job area, the health and wellness. Some people might just be looking for the health and wellness. Maybe they're close to retirement age and trying to decide, they might just decide what they wanna do with their money. Um, so 
that it'll be kind of up to where they want to go. We'll have different breakout sessions. So it'll be like 45, I think it'll be on the hour. So then they'll be like 45 minutes and then I'll break to clean things and start the next one. Um, so they'll venture through their areas that they need to or want to. Um, and then, you know, like I'm hoping to get from that, maybe give a list to some of the businesses like, hey, this one's looking for um, this kind of, you know, making a list for some of the businesses too. So they know when somebody comes through, say, oh yeah, you were on my list. So Karen, if somebody cannot attend the resource fair, what do you recommend? Well, the, well, we'll have resource. We'll have the resources available for them to reach out to uh, directly through both of our chambers mm -hmm. and that. So I just recommend them just getting in touch with with Krista and myself, and we'll be able to and share that information out. Our plan is we're going to do a thirty to sixty second um, commercial with each um, business as that is there. And then we will break them into sec sections or like manufacturing, and they will be put on our Facebook page and then on YouTube. Um, so they will it'll be the virtual fair of it. So people will still be able to, if they can attend, still participate that way. But that would be the week after because we want to get everything in order. Um, UWSP is donating a thousand folders for us to put together. So we'll get the information in there. Um, so we're looking to get all that together too. So. Okay. Can you name some of the businesses that will be? Um, for the financials, we have Everett Jones, Thrivent, Busca, um, the wellness ones. I'll tell my head, I don't remember who they are. Businesses we have, um, oh man, I just typed them all up too. <laughs> <laughs> or what types of businesses? Uh, we have some manufacturing, um, some insurance, some healthcare. Um, the health ones are a little bit different right now because they've got blocks on being able to do things. So um, I'm thinking they'll be more the virtual fair, but they are giving me like what they're available. The county um, has a whole bunch of job openings. So they will be um, having a booth. And then um, Milo Tech, that's the one out of Nesita that's going to be coming. Um, who else was it? I think it's going to Alton Construction. Um, some of them have apprenticeships too, so it'll be good for the college kids possibly too that are looking. You know, so we're aiming at the Verso and um, with layoffs with the casino and some of the other businesses, but there are still people that are still looking for jobs too, you know, with Hardy's closing, different things like that. Um, so there's different opportunities all together. And then college kids that are coming to town, they're going to be looking too. So we're, you know, it's for Verso and um, casino in different ways that way, but I think there's opportunities for our whole community that's looking. So last time I looked at the unemployment rate, aside from the Verso shut or idling, um, I'd want to say in June I looked and it was ridiculously high, like 12%. Um, outside of this situation and this point in time, what other programs do you have, each of you? What else do you have available outside of right now in this resource fair that you offer? Oh, good question. Um, <laughs> so our programs are focused around the businesses that are part, our or businesses organizations that are part of our our um, organization. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to answer this real well on that. Um, from the workforce side of things, I think is what you're getting at, is um, we work closely with our post-secondary education partners to provide um, programming that our businesses are looking to upskill or educate our um, current employees. Um, we know that they will handle those that will are looking to just you know gain skill outside of you know being laid off and that. Um, uh, for our youth, I work, I personally work very closely with our schools. And so I was just on calls with about youth apprenticeship this morning. And there are several opportunities that are going to be um, available for that as well. Um, so those juniors and seniors that are looking for um, employment that they can um, check, check our job board, um, check with their school counselor um, that they would be working uh, with for career technical education type requirements and uh, particularly school to work activities. Um, so they, that would be another opportunity for those. Um, other programming that we have is, um, and we consider it under our workforce development um, and relations, is like our getting involved in our young professionals group. Uh, where the Marshfield 
young professionals group and they um, are always looking for members to um, be involved with their, you know, this is, and they do some professional development activities through that. So even if you're not working for a company and you want to get connected with this group, um, you certainly can be a part of it. Uh, we meet the second Monday of every month and, um, and you can um, be a part of it virtually or in person. And then as far as another way to, for people to connect with um, biz or businesses to connect with us is through our Marshall Dairy Human Resources Association. And that group also, uh, we share resumes through there. So if someone has hard to find positions to fill, we share that with other HR directors in the area. Um, and then anybody who is looking to transfer to the area uh, from outside the community, we do share their resumes with with our HR directors or HR employers that are involved in with them. So just a couple of little things that I think I got your question answered yep. to what you wanted. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. We do a lot of the same. Um, my job role has changed and I'm taking over workforce, talent development, leadership, and um, education. Mm -hmm. um, but we've had some change over in the office, so I've been helping train them. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, this is pretty much one of my main focuses I'm working on, but I have been working with the school districts really closely. Um, we do a lot of um, student bus tours. We have four of them a year. Um, and actually I'll be going into some of the schools and speaking on um, what the chamber does because a lot of them don't really realize a lot of new teachers, different mm -hmm. things too, and they don't realize as much as what we will be doing. So I've been working with them to get sign up times to go in. Um, and like today, Nakusa has 13 new staff members new. Um, so getting our relocation packets out to them, letting them know what there is in the area. So that's been a part of our um, looking at that too, because they have husbands or wives possibly, or students or, you know, who can work also. Um, we also have, like she had said on the job board, um, through our chamber master program, that's been a huge thing. Um, a lot of them will call and we'll um, share it on our Facebook page, get out there. Um, just doing a lot of meetings and helping promote that way. Um, we talked about bringing back like an HR round table, so I'm gonna have to ask Karen some information on hers. I like that. Um, but yeah, just working with all the businesses to try to, we have Metallico coming to town. Um, they are hoping to hire 40, I think it was, in, by September here. So they're just starting to do it. And then I think another 40 in January. Um, they had a lot of pushbacks on getting pieces, parts because of COVID. Um, a lot of delays that way from shipping and stuff. So um, Carrie and I, a couple weeks ago, went out and toured. It was a very neat facility and we're looking forward to um, 80 of our local area people hopefully finding jobs there too. That'll help. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Employment Resource Fair is September 2nd and 3rd, correct? Yep. Uh, noon to 6 on the 2nd, that's a Saturday? Nope, it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Thursday. Well, this is during the week, yep. okay. So Wednesday, September 2nd, noon to 6, and then Thursday, September 3rd, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And where is it held? It's at East Junior High School. So it is off of Lincoln Street and 6th Street. You'll come off of 6th Street. So in Wisconsin Rapids, um, if you're coming, it would be off of East Grand by Taco John's. You would take 6th Street um, there, and there's parking back in there. Um, and Because there's a lot of different entrances into the East Junior High School, the entrance and the exit. Kind of things like that. Is there a website for more information? Um, WisconsinRapidsChamber.com. Um, if you can go to our calendar, events has it. And mm -hmm. do you have well, times? we've been promoting out yours, um, uh, your site as well. Yep. So, um, so in our Facebook page, Heart of Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. has um, the flyer information on there too. Or you could give us a call at seven one five four two three eighteen thirty. Or again, email me at vp at wisconsinrapidschamber dot com. I can send the information over. Um, we're getting all the flyers. The flyers are going to all the grocery stores also in their bags um, for the job fair too. And we'll close around town. And if anybody wants to contact the Marshville Chamber. Sure, you can contact me, Karen Isaacson. There's two Karens in the office, so I'm Karen I. Um, <laughs> and it's 715-384-3454, and my extension is 102. So, um, or my email address, which is isaacson.karen at marshallchamber.com, and you can find that all on our website, marshallchamber.com as well. Okay, is there anything that I didn't cover that... I don't think so. We should I don't get think in so. You are pretty good. Pretty good. Right. <laughs> thank you again. Thank you yes. both for joining us and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Hub City Presents. Mm -hmm.